how do we fill the American dream again with more opportunities for average earning families who seek to rise in social and economic status? What steps can the US government and or community take as a whole to move towards reestablishing true meritocracy in society? Number of things, first of all, investing a lot more than we do in the forms of education that equip most Americans, the two thirds who don't get a four year college degree to contribute uh, to the economy, to their communities and to society. We, we invest woefully little in labor market policies, in vocational um, and technical training uh, by comparison to the amount we invest in uh, higher education, which of course I'm very much in favor of, but not to the exclusion of the uh, investments we need in labor market policies to help uh, those who don't get a college degree. And so that's one thing. Another thing is we need to uh, have a public debate at least about the values embedded in a tax system that, for example, tax labor, the work most people do at a higher rate than, for example, uh, capital gains, and uh, whether we should shift, and this is one proposal I make in the book, whether we should discuss shifting uh, a taxation from the payroll tax, which is a tax on work, tax on the worker and tax on the employer hiring the worker, toward other forms of taxation, uh, such as a financial transaction tax, a carbon tax, um, not only as a way of, not only for reasons of distributive justice, ability to pay and all of that, but as a way of signifying concretely support for the dignity of work, the work that most people actually do, and reining in, for example, high frequency trading, which actually uh, contributes relatively little to the health of the economy and for that matter to the common good. So I think we need a broader debate about the values uh, related to work and contribution that are embedded in the way we remunerate work and also organize our tax system.